San Milani, welcome back to Money Matters with me, Dorozo. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy New Year! Today we are going to be talking and diving into setting financial goals. It's obviously the New Year, people are trying to make a change in their lives. And if you are one of those people, I just want to show you. I just want to give you a little guidance, a little tips and tricks, you know? But before we continue, please remember that I am not an expert. I'm just a girl who knows a thing or two, who wants you to know a thing or two as well. Anything I say in this video does not constitute financial advice. If you are looking for personal financial advice, please contact a financial advisor that is registered with the FSCA. Okay, let's get into it. So before you even start setting those goals, you need to assess your financial situation. You need to know what's what in the zoo, who is who in the zoo, what is happening, okay? Before you even start, if you have debts, if you have investments, if you have savings, if you have a salary, you have side hustles, you need to assess where you are standing. So you need to review everything, remove, review where you are wasting money, where you feel like you're wasting money, where you want to improve and all of that stuff. Just assess your financial situation. The next thing you can do is to set a budget. This is also a way to help you to assess your financial situation before you start thinking about savings before you start thinking about buying properties etc etc you need to know how much disposable income you have you need to know what your expenses are what areas you can reduce you just need to know where you are standing so set a budget whether it's a monthly budget a yearly budget however you want to set it i recommend a monthly budget i use the 227 app and if you want to know a little bit more of how i do that i have posted a shorter reel and a tiktok so you can find it where you find it <laughs> so that you can see how i use the 227 app to set my monthly budget and review my finances when you are setting your goals you want to set specific goals you don't want to just be like i want to save more money okay save how much if you say i want to save a total of a hundred thousand or i want to save 200 grand a month or i want to save have something specific that you are working towards have a target it's very important because it motivates you if you're just saying i want to save more money you'll probably never do it because it's so vague make sure that the goals you are setting are realistic and achievable okay this means that when, once you have assessed your financial situation, once you've looked at your budget and you see that maybe you have a thousand rand left over at the end of the month, don't now say, okay, I'm going to save 10,000 rand a month. Also, what's up 10,000, you know? Maybe if you say, okay, I'm going to make more money. How? How? You can't say, okay, I have a job, but what I'm going to do is get a second job. Are you going to be able to manage both jobs? This also helps from discouraging you because sometimes if your goals are too out of reach, you may feel really discouraged to take those steps, you know. So I also like to say when you are setting your goals, set tinier goals. So if you say, I want to save 100,000 by the end of the year, then you say, okay, per month, how much do I need to save? Okay. How am I going to do that? Do I have that money? Do I have, uh, what is it? It's about 8,000. Yeah, it's about 8,000 odd. So do I have that 8,000? If I don't have that 8,000, do I have a side hustle that's bringing me that 8,000? How am I going to get a side hustle that's bringing me that 8,000? What skills do I have that I can use? Is it realistic for me to expect 8,000 every single month? Or is it realistic for me to expect 8,000 right now? Or do I still need to hone those skills? Stuff like that. Prioritize your goals. You're going to have different goals. Obviously, you might be saving, reducing debt, buying a car. Prioritize those goals. See which one is the most important out of all of those goals. And maybe tackle that one first. That way, it's not all over the place and you find that you haven't reached any of your goals because you are trying to reach all of your goals at the same time. But if you say, okay, I want to, you know, have my debt paid off by June, then, you know, that is the first one that I'm going to do. I want to buy a car by December. Then that's the next step that you're going to do. Tackle them, prioritize them from the most important to 
or the most urgent to the least urgent. Yeah, not that your goals are not important, guys. That's not what I'm saying. And in that same breath, have a time frame for your goals. Make sure you know when you want to achieve that goal. Set a, a target time, you know. Again, this is just a, a tool to actually get you going. This is a tool to motivate you, to keep you disciplined in it as well. So don't just set the goal now and then leave it to be and, you know, not know what you want to do with it. Make sure that you are reviewing, you are adjusting if you need to adjust. If you see that you can save a little bit more or you feel like, oh, it's pinching a little bit on you know the groceries so let me bring a little bit more to the groceries because things fluctuate prices of stuff fluctuates all the time so you may find that maybe you were spending a certain amount of gross on groceries last year and now it's a little bit higher so when you look at your budget you see that oh no it's a little bit i need a little bit more so i need to save a little bit less or whatever make sure that you are reviewing and you're adjusting regularly uh when it comes to the budget monthly Reviews and monthly adjustments are really, really good because you get to see also track your spending and get to see if you are, if there's any wastage or if there's anywhere where you can reduce or increase or allow, you have a little bit more moving room. It's the same thing with your goals. You're just checking them, whether you're checking them monthly, quarterly, whatever works for you. And my advice that I always go to get help from a professional if you genuinely don't know what you're doing especially when it comes to things like investments um your taxes accounting stuff you just feel like overwhelmed don't be afraid to seek professional advice because then the information is personalized to you we can sit here and try and educate you on all this stuff but it's not personalized to your situation it's not personalized to your finances or your budget or your situation it's usually quite general but if you have someone working with you one-on-one -on -one, maybe it's a financial advisor they're able to give you financial advice that is based on you and personalized to you that is best for you and when you do have someone a professional doing stuff for you don't just leave them to their own vices guys in as much as yes they are professionals and you trust them things happen so be informed don't be afraid to ask for explanations ask questions if you have someone doing your taxes don't be afraid to ask them hey show me the calculation can you explain this for me can you explain that for me can you explain how this affects if you just leave them to, to your own vices, they are humans and mistakes can happen or it might not align with what you want. But if you are regularly checking in and you are also informed, you might suggest certain things and they will be able to adjust it to you, what you want to actually service you in the best way because you are involved. Okay. If you have investments, don't be afraid to go to your portfolio manager if you have a portfolio manager and say, hey i'm looking at this thing or look at the things that they send you i know some investment places they will send you a quarterly report look at it if you don't understand find someone who does and let them explain it to you don't just let it be that your money is going down the drain or things are not aligning with what you want anymore maybe your goals changed because you are reviewing and adjusting now you need to keep that person informed as well you need to see if things are still moving the way that you want them, you know, stuff like that. Just stay educated, stay informed and yeah, don't leave people to just do whatever they want with your money. And celebrate your milestones, guys. This is tough. Like right now, especially finances are tough and everyone is trying their best to make it work, to thrive financially so celebrate yourself you know congratulate yourself say kudos to you girl buy yourself a cookie when you reach your goals <laughs> that way you know you stay motivated you're also giving yourself a pat on the back if you pay off your debts you can stand on the roof and shout to the world about it okay celebrate it because it is a big deal the fact that you are able to reach financial goals so this is the money goals uh i'm calling it the money goals pack to help you track your money goals we obviously start off with i'll put it here because i have more space here 
starting off with the cover page and a little bit about it so this is just saying the reason why i did it the reason why i'm sharing it as well and then obviously first things first set a budget okay i'm gonna keep saying this and i'm gonna keep repeating it mm -hmm. Then I have this page that's to keep you going. It's uh, motivation. Uh, you're starting off with what is your why? Like why are you doing what you're doing or why are you setting the goals that you are setting? Whether you want a better life, you want to reduce your debt, you want to buy a car, buy an asset, whatever it is. And then this motivations or affirmations. This is something that you can write along the way. Or it's something that you can write now like, you know, I am in control of my money or i am destined to have a successful life stuff like that just to keep you motivated obstacles that you have to overcome this is either mental obstacles or practical obstacles whatever you have to overcome whether it's discipline whatever obstacles that you have to overcome then we have a reflection section so this reflection is when you are reviewing and adjusting if you feel like there's something that you need to note or um, just for you to reflect and say, hey, I'm doing a good job or uh, I've adjusted X, Y, Z. Then we start with the savings goal. This one is pretty straightforward. What are you saving for? What amount? What date are you saving it for? Then you're going to keep, um, yeah, then you're going to keep tracking it. So you have the week or the month, however often you're saving. You have the goal amount and you have the actual amount that's because sometimes you might say i want to save 200 rand this month and then you can only save 150 that's fine and then the remaining the 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 difference yes because you have a target total right so maybe that will roll over into the next month etc etc a debt repayment um goal thing magic which is the opening balance the number of accounts you're trying to pay off these pages you can print multiple of them if you have like different loans that you are trying to pay off or if you just want to do it as a total you can do it as well uh the minimum monthly repayments uh the goal payment amount how much you want to pay every month if you want to pay a little bit extra the target date and the actual due date of them you have the columns which are month or week however often you're paying it starting balance uh repayment amount and the remaining is what's remaining of the loan investment goals yes the sun is my favorite out of all of them i don't know why <laughs> but you have your different investments one two three i just put three in there because i don't know if anyone would have more than three if you do you probably have a professional helping you and then i have a to-do list and the to-do list is just what you need to do so uh, you need to research the type of investments or the investment platform that you'll be using um make your initial investments and then monitor your investment and when you are monitoring your investment you can use the, the summary section then we have income goals so if you want to increase your income streams or increase your income uh, we have your income stream so if it's your salary your business whatever content and then your plan is what what's your plan to increase it whether it's to start selling something or ask for an increase at work Whatever it might be, this is it. And then you will also measure it monthly, weekly, however often you receive the amounts and the income description. So if it comes from your salary, the amount and the increase in that month. I don't know if you get me, but yeah. And that is it. It's really, really basic. It's literally just to help you track, monitor and keep you motivated in your pursuit of your money goals, in pursuit of you thriving in your money goals. So I hope that you do download it in the link below. Um, yeah, and you can print it out. You can use it. Yeah, you can use it however as a PDF, you can print it out. And yeah, I really do hope that you find it helpful. And you can share it with whoever you want to share it with. Yeah, that is it for me. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you found it informative and helpful, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share it so everyone can see it. Thank you so much for watching.